All right, Percy Jackson and the Olympians has been streaming on Disney Plus for quite some time already. I actually watched each and every episode as it dropped regularly. And I'm gonna finally review it here on the channel. My name is Percy Jackson. Am I a troubled kid? Let me just give a bit of context about this show. For me, there is this personal connection that I have for this. That's why there's actually a pressure that I put on in watching this because I read the books back in high school and so I enjoy it. If you're someone like me who's going into this loving a source material, there is going to be apprehensions. There's going to be siempre comparisons to the original, which is the book. And I have to say this version because we also got a Logan Lerman version before which I honestly want to forget. This in my opinion is pretty spot on in giving the details that we got from the novels. Over, why is there half a goat in your pants? There's some things that I have to revisit again from the main source material but if I'm going to nitpick it that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna read the novel again and then watch the series again and compare but then I'm not doing that because from an entertainment standpoint and from someone who does have a knowledge of the source material, it's pretty great. There are a lot of moments that they were able to capture. I honestly though felt things started to rush towards the end. I felt like na beaten ako. Na feel ko na pumilis yung pacing. Tuloy ang feeling ko ang dami nilang nakat parin towards the end. I guess even the setup for the capture the flag they they kind of had to speed things up a bit but then overall i felt like there was a more responsible manner with which they attacked the source material they upheld it to its best potential and really got the most out of it and i also watched the documentary in a way of the behind the scenes or creating this show and that was really in a way yung pressure than nila diba syempre they want to uh, give the respect to the fans, give respect to the author, Rick Riordan. And I think they nailed it here. I think they really did a great job as much as they could. Looking at it as a whole, I love the show. I love what was given. It's very uh, Percy Jackson in that manner. I also love the world building that they did here. There were some moments actually that really stood out that felt almost, in my opinion, like the Sandman kind of visual treatment towards the end that fight sequence with Ares. Single combat. <laughs> that was actually pretty great. It was pretty awesome. I actually wanted more of that. I actually wanted it to, you know, be one whole episode of them just fighting. It was that awesome. Uh, even the lighting of that, even the scenes there, the confrontation towards the end also with Zeus was phenomenal, was fantastic. I guess the payoff towards the end with the big twist was something that was a bit rushed for me but overall the journey here it is a hero's journey and it's again in my opinion something very stereotypical a hero's journey is something you've seen before and i've read this back in high school but it was treated in such a manner that is fresh and that's what i liked about it the journey that we're on with percy jackson annabeth and grover is just still exciting i feel like there are still moments of course that could be improved that could have been more like at the edge of your seat. Again, I think my overall comment with this is pacing. There are moments that felt rushed. There are moments that felt it was still speeding up, but I don't know if it was my brain like trying to cope up or keep up and it was like, okay, this is too fast. Things are moving at a fast pace. I like it to a certain point that I want more. I want more 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 and of course we're gonna get season two i feel like they can still milk it and make it longer and more immersive and take their sweet time not even just have one episode a uh, one season for one book like break it up make it two seasons for sea of monsters and or whatnot but leave us in a cliffhanger the chemistry of the cast admittedly the three is pretty solid uh, i still have a bit of like reservations still for now regarding their chemistry though um i don't think it's something of an issue though because like harry potter they didn't actually have it all together from the get-go i'm saying this don't bash me <laughs> they didn't have it for me at the get-go and it well they did but then it started to increase and develop more and more as the story progressed 
And I think that's what's gonna happen here as well. But yeah, I, I actually like this series. It's one that I actually recommend. It's one that, again, has a personal connection to me and therefore is one of the reasons also why coming from that also, I was pretty pleased. So take it as that, no? Parang mataas yung expectations ko. In some way, shape, or form, it was met. I give this a score of 8 out of 10. It's a pretty solid series and I'm looking forward for the next seasons that they have in store for us. How about you guys with your thoughts on Percy Jackson and the Olympians? Leave a comment down below. As always, don't forget to make every day into an adventure. Catch me on my next video. Goodbye for now. God bless. Peace out.